Hello, everyone. Myself, Rakesh Sunil Sivar, science teacher in Sunil University. I teach the students of class 9. The subject is bio and also in biology. We all study chapter 15. The chapter may be improvement in food resources. In previous video, we all study one by one different types of food resources and also method of obtaining them. Now in this part, we all study about fish production and also about BPP. It means animal husbandry. We all study animal husbandry. And also in this, we all study the various types of animals for obtaining food material. In this way, this part is also most important. First is fish production. Fish production. These are the best resources for obtaining proteinous food. Nowadays, there is a great high demand of proteinous food of fish. And also, this is also best for our balanced diet. And also, we obtain animal protein from the fish. Now, what are the methods of obtaining fish? As you know, different types of water body protein on the and in this part of water body, various types of rivers, lakes, sea, oceans are also present on the earth's surface. And it will also depend on the nature of country in which the food is also obtained by different rivers. In our country, India is lucky that the Indian coastline. is about 7,500 km. It means on the border of our country up to 7,500 km also are the bank of oceans. So we all obtain more and more fish from these coastlines in any way by the various types of tools. Now there are two important of obtaining fish. First is called natural resources and second is called fish farming. Natural resources, it means we obtain fish by nature. This fish we obtain by different types of river, ponds, oceans and also different types of other water bodies. And this is called capture fish. Capture fish means we all catch fish. It means fish for them naturally in the different water body and we all obtain this fish by using different types of tools, fishing net and also various types of other advanced tools, we all capture more and more fish naturally. So this is called capture fish. Second, called fish farming. Fish farming. It is also known as capture fish, culture fish. Fish farming means to be of artificially rearing the fish in different water bodies. This is called fish farming. And also the fishes we obtain from fresh water. This is also known as land culture. Now some terms we have to obtain it. First is called marine fish. Mirai fish means we obtain fish from different types of sea, oceans and other water bodies. And also inland fish. Inland fish means we obtain fish from fresh water bodies. As example, pond, rivers, canals. In each and every country, various types of water bodies present in which fresh water are also flowing. In this way, various types of fish were in fresh water also, as in the river, canals, ponds. So, we all obtain from there different types of fish also. And generally, various types of people or farmers also really fish in the pile field. It means different types of crops we grow in different types of fields in which water bodies are for the 
many months and many years in which we all we all face and in this way we all have now many people also really fish in artificial ponds and also produce more and more fish in this way there is a most important point composite fish culture this is also important part composite fish culture and also important question also right most about composite fish culture what is this i give you know we all produce food material for production we all rely on various types of method for obtaining more and more products in this way we also obtain more and more fish artificially at the same time we all utilize this system of rearing of fish called composite fish culture in this type of fish culture we all rearing four or five types of fish rear in the same pond at the same time and also they grow rapidly and also at the same time we all gain various types of fishes in easy way this type of culture is called fish culture and what is the method of this type of culture in this way suppose there is a pond and also in this pond water also fill up some fishes they have neither they live on the base some fishes live on base and some live in the middle part of the water and some fishes live on the upper part of the water so various types of fishes their nature are also different and for live in water on different places suppose some types of fish live on base part some middle and some upper part in this way various types of fishes they are feeding habitat and also other types of nature and living habitat all are different to each other so we all hear these different types of species of fishes at the same time in the same way in this way at the same time we will produce more and more fishes by the method of composite fish culture but there are difference is some types of problem created by composite fish culture they are breeding season this is also create problems breeding season this season create problems in the rearing of different types of fish which type of problem created by them so this problem related to breeding season it means by this variety of fish their breeding season are also same in this way they they are eggs in the water also mixing together eggs during breeding season they produce in water bodies different species of fish produce their eggs in the water body and also all of eggs in water body mix together mix together in this way their new generation could not come and also all the eggs destroy in this way we could not obtain more and more new generations or new young this is a major problem in the way of composite fish culture but we all utilize different types of medicine and hormones due to the hormones and medicine to be all change the breeding season of different variety of fish and also really in the same pond as the composite fish culture method and also obtain more and more fish so these are the way by which we all obtain more and more fish by this system and also fulfill the demand of the people because now we are there is a great demand of fish in our country and also in the whole world this is the way by which we produce more and more fish now the next method is called kiki I you know about the honey bee and also honey. Honey is also delicious 
and sweet dish and also this is also medicine by this action medicinal property also present in honey so honey honey production is also important part of food production and also this honey we all obtain from honey bee large number of honey bees we are really by different way and also gain more and more so for this work we are utilize hybridization method hybridization method hybridization method utilize for the production of more and more honey in this way we are cross breed two types of honey by the cross breed of two types of honey first local species And also foreign species called Italian. Italian species mainly there. So two types of honey. First local variety Apis and second Italian variety mainly there. By the cross breeding of this local and Italian species, a best variety of honey bee also come. And by this we are obtain more and more. Because this Italian species has many types of males, it means they produce more and more honey. Their time of living in the honeycomb is also more and more time, and their quality is also very super quality of honey production by them. And their resilience power is also important and also very important. Their resilience power. High resilience power project in this local variety and also various types of other variety project in Italian variety. It means in the way of honey production and also collection of flowers, juice, and also they stay in the honeycomb for more and more time and also their resilience power are also strong. In this way, by the cross. breeding of different types of local and foreign species we all gain the best species of honey bee which help in the more and more honey production by the process of hybridization now what is hybridization hybridization is the process by which we also cross breed of two different varieties of species and also by them we all find the best quality or best species which also have all types of property it means high resilience power and also production capacity also more and more in this way by this process we all produce more and more food material in this chapter we all complete this chapter 15 improvement in food resources thank you